Yeah, yeah, what's going on out there? What's good, y'all? It's your boy Bad Luck. Hit Boys reviews for sneakers, boots, and shoes, and we back. And as you can see, I got the two chains, Adidas collaboration, too good to be trues. Uh, this is my second go around with this, so I'm gonna try to get through this as quick as possible. And uh, I might have to do a little editing. So, first thing I want to do is apologize for my lighting. My lighting is kind of off today. Uh, my lint broke, so yeah. Um, just working with what I could work with it hasn't always been the best but yeah we here if you need um to adjust your settings to 720p maybe that'll work out a little bit more so you could feel the sneaker in as much detail as I can give it to you um well basically let's get up into this you have a full body gator infused new buck that's around your toe cap, around the inside of the sneaker, the back, the outside, and all around the upper, as well as the tongue, and gold hits everywhere that complement this sneaker beautifully. You got your gold aglets on the laces, um, you got your gold lace tips. And you got your gold elite um, Adidas leaf in the back. So, S Gangsters is actually a regular top 10. If any modifications on it, it's very slight, probably up around the collar area. But it's just a regular top 10 with this luxurious, high quality, extra high quality material. Yeah, I mean, these things are retailing for 130 They dropped on the 15th of February. Now, I initially got the um, the teaser image on uh, February 3rd. And all they showed you was the little laces. Just the laces. I was feeling that off the back because I already, you know I mean, no, just being the dude that 2 chains is, I know he wouldn't, like, put any put his stamp on anything that wasn't made to like specific you know what I mean specifications you know what I mean I, I already know how he get down this dude is on his little Balenciaga ah 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 he hot in with his so you know what I mean I knew this was gonna be fly just off the teaser image I really wanted it but um uh, when I f realized it was releasing on the 15th and at a retail for 130 I already saw it was going to be hard to cop, as you could say, you know, so, I mean, I I really pretty much wasn't even thinking about this kit, um, but I woke up the other morning on my way out, I was window shopping, yeah, that's shopping on your Mac or your PC, you know what I mean, just browsing through, see if you want to cop something or not, I'm window shopping, and I saw these up on Sneaker Politics. Shout to Sneaker Politics for holding it down. They initially had these back when they dropped, but you couldn't um, order them. You actually had to go to the store or call or email or do all that extra shit. And I wasn't about that. So, um, yeah. These things sold out most places they was at um, very quick. They had them at Kith. Uh, they had them at a couple places, you know what I mean? Um, but I missed out on them. I saw them the other morning, about four or five days ago, for 130. And all they had was my size. It's a size 11. Picked it up immediately. You know what I mean? Uh, and yeah, it came in like four days. So I'm, I'm very, very um satisfied. I had a couple sneakers on my list that I did want, but due to the fact that I have these and that such a bargain. I don't even want those no more now that I have these in my hands. Um, I actually would pay resale price for these, which I didn't. Um, but if you need these and you would like to acquire these at a decent price, um, you could check Flight Club. These things are going from around 220 to 250 maybe 280 all that plus tax um, if you could get them. And they have a range of sizes. so. Yeah, um, that's about all I could tell you about these actual regular top 10. 
Gator infused new buck all around the sneaker, around the lacelets, around the back collar. Um, it changes gradients. The Adidas three stripes is in black and it's actually like an iguana print or a snake kind of print and it changes gradient from stripe to stripe. And it's all black but it's a different kind of black. I love color blocking. Color blocking actually lets you appreciate the sneaker for what it is. You know I mean, in my opinion, so I, I love sneakers that do the color blocking and, and very little branding, you know, like, like this didn't have a branding on the, on the tongue, which it didn't need. So this is, this is lovely. It's a very beautiful kick, simple, you know what I mean, high quality, you know what I mean, the inside is black, the inside black, the tongue is fat, nice and plump, and, um, yeah, yeah, your insole is black and you got your, your gold Adidas logo inside with some, some, some words. And the back of this is just this nice high quality boot like leather. Um, it's crazy. You can't go wrong with this. I mean, I know what I finna do with these. I can't wait to put these up on foot. Another crazy thing is this midsole. The midsole is actually Gator infused new buck as well. Yeah, you know I mean this kick is so high quality. I could probably go into detail and show you the fact that every stitch is pretty much probably on point. Like they did a very very good job. The um, laces are kind of like Jan Sport feeling laces for backpacks. Um, Pretty cool, it's decent. Um, it's your gold lace tips, the gold lace tips is kind of tight. I really like that. It's dope. Your regular top ten bottom all black with your black Adidas hit in the middle. I mean, what more can I say about these? Yeah, you know I mean, I wanted to get y'all little shots up in the morning, but I've been waiting for the UPS dude to drop these off since forever. I got my I got my notification at 7 a.m. Boy just popped up at like 7:30 p.m. So, yeah, you know I mean, aside from my lights being bad, it's not much more I could do for y'all. I'm gonna probably try to get some shots of these in the morning from off the balcony. Yeah, you know I mean, straight up at noon for y'all and add this to the video. But we gonna take these boys for a spin. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm gonna take some flicks, some on foot flicks. And some nice beauty shots of these things. Y'all can enjoy that. It's Hit Boys Reviews for Sneakers, Boots, and Shoes. Your boy Bad Luck. Holla at me. Yeah, so, um, this is a, like, little consumer review of the product. You know what I mean? I got these joints on April 1st. That's what, like I stated probably in the beginning of the video from, um, sneakerpolitics.com. Um, and yeah, I cracked these out the box immediately, and I think I wore them at least um, three days consecutive, so this is a consumer review. I would um, advise you to buy true to size, or at least maybe um, a half size smaller due to the metric system of um, Adidas. And um, shoes like cons and whatnot go by like this British metric system. So um, I would have been excellent with a ten and a half, but I got an eleven and a half. And like what I do to accommodate for that is um, wear two pairs of socks. And yeah, the time to wear these is pretty much almost up. So yeah, it's about time to stock these. I'm they still fit pretty well and due to the fact that um they are not my size I would um I would assume these would crease immediately um especially due to the way I walk and how I walk when I have to walk a certain way i.e. speed walking which I did a lot of <laughs> in these in the past three days and also got caught in the rain so um yeah, a quick consumer review. These are excellent in the fact that they do not crease. I like this little bar right here at the toe cap. That um, I don't know if that has any effect towards 
decreasing or not, but yeah, you know I mean, I've been walking in these over 36 hours straight, so I mean, I had these on for three days. Um, got caught in the rain twice. Um, I, if I got caught in like serious rain, I pretty much think these would be destroyed, but I got caught in a drizzle. Um, so like yeah I mean I wouldn't really recommend you like have these out against the elements like rain and snow and things of that nature um these are the type of sneakers you immediately put back in the box and whatnot what I am going to do and I am a smoker so another thing is <laughs> I got caught in the rain and I sparked something up yeah you know I mean and ashes and lint I have cats and whatnot, dander, all of that will attract to this new buck immediately. So you might want to get like a little paintbrush or one of them little um, makeup kit little brushes just to brush that up. You know what I mean? In your free time, and carry that along with you. But um, yeah, I have no complaints about this kick. It probably creased up a little bit around the collar due to the fact uh, that it's over my size and you don't want to, like you can make this fit. But, yeah, I mean, what you don't want to do is, like I said, yeah, I mean, it was made to um, the homeboy specification. So, yeah, I mean, it was meant to be worn like it looks like it's meant to be worn. So, yeah, I mean, you don't really want to lace that, but you can relace that and whatnot. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to un -DS that lace at all, ever. So, that's just going to stay like that. Um, I could make it fit just by getting some new laces or uh, unlacing these and lacing them up to the top but that's not gonna happen um i have no problem with how i wear them and how they fit with what i'm doing with them and yeah they don't look too bad as of yet only complaint i have is like a little bluing and um i guess that comes from weathering and too much um friction against um the material and probably like lighting and whatnot but yeah i mean the more you preserve these the better they will be for longevity you wear them when you gotta wear them and i have no problem with these as of yet yeah i mean quick consumer reviews your boy bad luck hit boys two chains adidas too good to be true i'll let it.